so here's what I, what I, my modification that I did to the micro IEC. I desoldered the original, original activity LED, put on a uh, little two-pin header, but now I can use a regular activity or a power light or turbo, in this case a turbo LED from an older XT and just plug it right in. So you can see it says turbo LED. And there's a picture of the whole the whole mess. The micro IC, the Jiffy DOS, reset button. And you can't see the switch because it's mounted on the top of the case. So like I did with my Ultimate 64, there's other off-the-shelf accessories uh, that you can tack onto it, which give you a lot of uh, functionality. There's one modification I didn't do, which is a fairly popular one with the VIC-20 owners, is to uh, uh, put uh, S-Video out. There is, it is possible to pull S-Video, like the 64, off of the VIC motherboard, but I have, the picture looks good enough for me, so I haven't uh, done that. But some of the accessories you can get to really uh, max out your VIC-20, there's the uh, Mega Cart, uh, done by Brian Lyons right here in Toronto, so megacart.com. That's every single VIC cartridge game and utility all in one cartridge. Very, very handy and very powerful. The utility cartridge even includes the memory expansions. So you can fire up your Mega Cart and say, well, I want a 3K and a, you know, and a 35K expansion, go, and it does it. Jim Brain is selling the Masquerade adapters, and this lets you connect uh, C64 IO mapped cartridges to the VIC-20. So you could hook up a 64 NIC to the VIC-20. No one's written any software for it. Uh, John O'Downs, who did Kipper Basic, uh, has done a very uh, rough and ready VIC-20 port. I played around with it. It's not 100%, but it was enough that uh, my DHCP server was able to give my VIC an IP address. So. I, I think uh, uh, one of the VIC uh, programmers actually wrote uh, a terminal uh, application to work with that. To work with this or through the user port uh, connector? Oh, maybe, maybe it's a different one. Um, I, I yeah, there, there's a number of solutions. This is for memory map cartridges. So things like the Swift Link and the uh, 64 NIC you know, would work through the masquerade. Oh, Jim, you showed up at the right time. I'm giving the Jim sales pitch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there, there's another really great cartridge for the VIC-20 that I haven't uh, splurged on yet. It's uh, the Final Expansion 3. I didn't put a URL because it was some really, really long thing. So I just Google Final Expansion 3 and you'll find it. And it gives you a lot of things. Expands the memory to 512K, which is what you've always wanted on the VIC-20. Uh, and it has uh, SD uh, to IEC, which is comparable to the micro IEC built right into the cartridge real-time clock and you can even connect an LCD to it and uh, there's the expander 3 that Jim has been teasing us with oh my goodness okay so I've got coming soon maybe that soon and there's lots more these are the ones that you can that uh, I'm particularly fond of uh, I don't have the final expansion 3 I'm gonna buy an expander 3 the instant Jim says it's uh, it's ready but there's many more out there, and if any of you are on the VIC-20 denial forums, that's uh, the uh, central place to go for VIC information and announcements of new, new products. Really? Yes, question. The, uh, the SD card uh, thing, does that, does the uh, 64 see that as a uh, device aider? How does that work? Oh yeah, you can set it to any device number. I have, it, I have mine set to device number 10, so that it doesn't, uh, interfere with a regular 1541 that I might plug in. So I, so even with that modification, I can still plug in a 1541 that's device number eight and it'll work just fine. Could you have it like, like a lot of device number eights on there? Yeah. No, just one. So, but the, so I, have mine, I have mine set to device number 10. You could, you could have like 100 floppies on that one thing, right? Yep, I think on my, uh, yes. Yeah, I have one on my 64 and I think I have like 8,000 D64 images on it. But the 64 doesn't really do 64 images, it, it does. Yeah, and the VIC-20 does this too. I should have brought it to uh, fire it up. Because you can, you can do at cd such and such name dot d64. And as far as the VIC knows, you've got a 1541 plugged in. So you can load and, and save right into the d64 image right off the flashcard. Okay, that's what I want to Yeah. 
Yeah, Jim's got the, the got them set up. Well, and I do have my real Vic set up over at the side, so if anyone wants to have a closer look at the modifications and how the micro IC works with the Vic 20 and Jiffy DOS, it's kind of a pretty handy combination. Any other questions? All right, I'll hand. Oh, one more. Where can I ship my Vic 20 to you so to mod out yours? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's, let's, let's do custom art. Let's talk after. Okay, I think Jim Brain is up next, so I'll leave it there. Thank you.